All right, hey guys. So today I found out how you could get custom achievements on Steam and I thought I might as well share it with you guys. So this is my Steam profile and this is my achievement showcase shown on my profile. And uh, as you can see, I made a bunch of custom achievements. Here's a picture of my face. It just says I have become achievement. Uh, here's my little gaming tailor name with the YouTube icon and here's my little like uh, South Park character that I put on my thumbnails and it just says the king of game collecting and I think this one says the official achievement of YouTube's gaming tailor. So these are all my achievements that I'm showcasing on my profile. They're actually a lot smaller. I'm zoomed way in but here's my profile as you can see and you can feature your achievements um, on your achievement showcase. So if you guys want to make your own custom achievements, you're going to want to own one of these five games. These are all from the publisher Ampa.us. You're going to need either Bloodfeed, Survival Zombies, The Inverted Evolution, Dinosaur Hunt, Machine Hunt, or Dinosaur Force. You can only make one custom achievement per game, so if you want multiple achievements, you're going to want to have multiple games. All of these games were priced at around 50 cents during the summer sale, so you might want to wait for these games to go on sale before you pick them up. But the cheapest one currently is Dinosaur Forest, priced at $2. Let's go ahead and go to this one. This is Survival Zombies The Inverted Evolution And once you get to here just go to the community hub and go to the forums and at the very top that's pinned It says custom achievements names and description ideas and uh, you can read through this But basically what the developer is doing is if you own the game He's going to allow you to create your own custom uh, image that you can convert into an achievement uh, with your own custom description and name for it. Basically, the criteria that you're going to need for the image for the achievement, you're going to need to make a 64 by 64 pixel image, and it has to be either a JPEG or a PNG. It can be any dimension, but just know it's going to be resized down to 64 by 64, and it must be square. So I'm going to go ahead and open Photoshop just to give you guys a sense of what you can expect. So here's one that I created. I kind of blew it up a little bit. Normally they're a lot smaller. 64 by 64 pixels is very tiny. But Let's go ahead and do new and then you can change this to 64 by 64 or any dimensions that are square honestly and that is how big uh, the achievement icon is going to be so you're going to have to either design your own artwork or you can uh, take images off the internet as long as you edit them in some way if they're somehow copywritten um, they won't work and the developer will know that you just took an image off the internet so make sure you edit it in some way or create your own achievement just so um, that it'll it'll be accepted into the game um, and once you do that, all you have to do, let's go ahead and just go to one of mine. I'm going to scroll down. So here's a reply that I did in this thread. You just uh, post the image. You just upload it to an image hosting site like Imager or whatever you may use. And then you just choose the name and the description. And this is one uh, that I did for uh, my face. Just a random picture of my face just because I thought it would be really cool to have myself as an achievement in a game on Steam. I think that's just so awesome. And then once um, the developer adds it to the game, which it usually takes a couple days, uh, sometimes it just depends. Um, you can check the thread periodically and you'll see when the developer posts and when he updates the game. Uh, but once your achievement gets into the game, you can go to your profile and if you have a achievement showcase, you can actually uh, showcase the achievement on your profile. And uh, if you're curious how to unlock the achievement in the game, uh, you're either going to need to run the game and unlock the achievement yourself. I think all the achievements are unlocked by simply playing the game and killing zombies or dinosaurs or whatever the game has you doing. Uh, otherwise, you can use an achievement unlocker like Sam. You can Google uh, Sam Achievement Unlocker, and the first thing that comes up is a program that you can unlock any achievement on Steam uh, automatically, which is kind of nice. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just a really cool... Um, way to unlock or to create your own custom achievements and big shout out to developers of these games uh, these games are generally generally not that great um, i've played like all of them and they're not very good games but i really think the developer is pretty special for just interacting with the community and letting people create their own achievements i think that's really cool and uh, before i end this video i just want to do a quick shout out to a guy named uh, i think his name is ishrat khan um, he has a channel on YouTube. Uh, he's the one who told me about this, so I really appreciate it. And uh, he created his own custom achievement down here, which is the same as his uh, avatar up here. And he uses the same thing all over his profile, so his profile looks pretty cool. And uh, I think um, 
his uh, custom achievements are a little bit better than mine. Mine are kind of lazy, but I think it's really cool and kind of cute at the same time. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and there'll be links in the description below if you guys need help. I'll also try to post a guide if you guys need help uh, creating your own image. But besides that, thanks for watching and have a nice day.